Hello guys, welcome to my studio apartment here in Singapore where I've been staying at for the past almost one year. And in this video, I'm going to do a mini transformation of my home office setup, which is the area right behind me. From something like this to... Not gonna show you guys yet. <laughs> Anyway, um, I have to admit that I always wanted to do this transformation but I've just been procrastinating for the longest period of time. Even though I did a bit of transformation when I moved in um, because the original look was just not my style at all. Uh, so as you can see, I bought a few furniture pieces to set up an independent workstation. Um, but then overall, I still maintain a very minimalistic look and refrain from investing too much money into it. Um, however, recently I renewed my lease for another two years so I guess it will be my long term solution for now. Um, I'm actually very anxious right now because I've never done anything similar before so I'm not sure how the final setup will turn out. Um, I guess let's just cross our fingers and hope for the best. My studio apartment measures around 300 square feet and the space is pretty much my living room, bedroom and study all in one. I adopted a minimalistic approach when I was setting up this apartment but there are a few pain points that I hope to address during this transformation. First of all, my desk space is quite limited, so it feels a bit cramped when I'm working on my laptop, which I place right in front of the monitor. I wasn't able to maintain a healthy posture, and I constantly experienced wrist pain when I type. On the other hand, my cable management was really poor, so the dust tends to accumulate very quickly and the floor can get quite messy sometimes. In order to upgrade my workstation, I purchased a few items from Shopee and Lazada, which arrived a few days ago and have been sitting at the corner of my room for quite a while. Um, so I'm just gonna do some unboxing to check out what these items look like. On top of these, I still have to make a quick round to the Apple store to pick something up. Alright, let's go! So we're now at the Apple store and I'm debating between these two. So it's either um, Apple Magic Keyboard with Touch ID as well as the numeric keypad or the one without. And apparently the first one comes at a more premium price at $239 while the second one is only $129. Most likely I'll still go for the cheaper option though because I want to save some money. The first thing you notice is probably my desk, which I did not upgrade this time around. To be honest, I really wanted to get a standing desk and I still don't understand why I turned down a collaboration offer from Everdesk Plus earlier this year. But this is what I have right now, a Mikkei 142 times 50 cm wide desk I bought from Ikea. It came with two drawers and was reasonably priced at $159. It fits into this corner of my room perfectly and I position it in a way that guarantees sufficient sunlight during the day. I've been using this white swivel chair from Ikea for almost a year and even though its color matches the color theme of my apartment, it's simply not an ergonomically well-designed chair, so I decided to give it an upgrade. It's quite a coincidence that Steelcase reached out to me at the same time and offered their personality plus ergonomic chair. The one I'm using right now is their grey matchback chair with Aerostorm Kelsey fabric and seagull frame. I also added a headrest to offer better neck support. When I need to sit in front of my desk for a long period of time, the Personality Plus chair is a great choice with plenty of adjustments, from height to seat depth to lumbar support. The new lumbar design with copolymer has 2.5 times more flex for contour lower back support. With insights from extensive pressure mapping, the slats add extra fluidity for dynamic back support. Its 4D adjustable arms can move in different directions and pivot to better support my neck and shoulders. When I want to take a break from my work, I can simply lean back as the chair provides firm yet responsive support when sitting upright or in recline. More importantly, the base of this chair is made of 100% off-grade recycled materials, which is fortified to ensure performance and durability. 
with this ergonomic chair from Steelcase, I believe that I'll be able to improve my posture and level up my productivity. All right, as promised, I'll be giving away a brand new Personality Plus chair from Steelcase for free to appreciate the support of my channel along the way. All you have to do is to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and follow my Instagram, which is linked in the video description below. After finishing all these steps, you can just let me know in the comment section which item from this video was your favorite as well as your IG handle, so I can reach out to you directly if you win the lucky draw. Yeah, good luck guys, and remember to check out other products from Suitcase because they're just super awesome. At the focal point of the desk is a monitor, which is the Prism Plus X300 Ultra Wide Monitor that features a 30-inch gaming panel designed with an impressive 200Hz refresh rate. I received this item from Prism Plus around half a year ago and I've been using it ever since. It functions as a second screen whenever I'm doing data analysis work for my job or editing YouTube videos. Its low blue light and flicker-free technologies help reduce eye strain so I won't get fatigued even after sitting in front of the screen for a few hours. But one thing that I have to admit though is that its color gamut isn't necessarily the widest, so it's not really capable of delivering vibrant colors and punchy contrast. However, if color isn't a deal breaker for you, I would say Prism Plus X300 is definitely a good bang for your buck. I have two laptops, one for my regular job and the other for my personal use. When it comes to scripting videos or editing content, I'll be working on my 13-inch MacBook Pro 2020 with M1 chip and 8GB storage space. I bought it June last year as a graduation gift for myself and I haven't run into any major issues so far. To keep both my laptop and monitor off the desk, I use the desk shelf as well as the laptop stand. Actually, I already have one desk shelf but it's a bit small and I'm not a huge fan of its color, so I upgraded it to a red walnut wooden desk shelf that is 80 x 21 x 6 cm. It's made from a single piece of wood and the texture feels much more elegant than a previous one. It also leaves enough room where I can store some small items like my hard drive and book underneath. I chose this wooden laptop stand from Shopee and it's less than $10. Not only does it elevate my laptop closer to eye level, which is good for maintaining a healthy posture, it also prevents my MacBook Pro from overheating by ensuring adequate ventilation at the bottom. Even though I'm going for a minimalistic feel for my home office, I still want some color that pops to make my desk setup less boring. So I bought this forest green leather desk mat from Shopee for less than $20. Because if you don't know already, green is definitely one of my favorite colors. Also, the desk mat provides a smooth surface for me to write on and it's pretty easy to clean. For the longest period of time, I've been surviving without a keyboard or mouse. But to be frank, it's just not the most ideal setup. Especially given the fact that my desk is a bit narrow, I always end up placing my wrist on the edge of the desk which is not conducive to blood circulation. Therefore, I decided to invest in an actual keyboard and a mouse. Since I'm a pretty loyal user of Apple products plus I personally prefer minimal key travel, so I went for Apple Magic Keyboard, which comes at a price of $129 Singapore dollars without Touch ID. It's wireless and rechargeable, with an incredibly long-lasting internal battery that will last for about a month or so between charges. It's very portable so I can bring it along on travels. Instead of buying Apple Magic Mouse or Magic Trackpad, I chose Logitech Signature M650 wireless mouse because my wallet told me to be more frugal. There are two sizes for me to choose from, and because I prefer full grip, so I went for the larger one. It turned out to be the perfect choice because I love the design of the mouse and it really helps me maintain a better wrist angle when I work. Compared to my previous mouse, it's pretty quiet and the buttons are super customizable. All you have to do is to download the Logitech app on your computer or phone to configure the shortcuts. Previously, my cable management was pretty much non-existent, but I got a bit lazy so I didn't purchase those fancy cable management solutions out there in the market. Instead, I just bought a cable management box from Shopee and I dumped my power strip and plugs inside, so at least you won't see the mess from outside. And I guess it works. Last but not least, I want to give a special shout out to this vintage speaker which I came across in someone else's vlogs. It's called the Devoom D2 Plus Pixel Art Portable Smart Bluetooth Speaker. And unsurprisingly, I went for the green version again. But I have to say, this is literally my favorite item in my whole entire apartment. The pixel art is so retro and really reminds me of my childhood, and it also has a lot of cool functions. You can use the Devoom app to customize the pixel art, select your color scheme, and even draw your own pixel art to display on the screen here. The sound quality is very nice as well, which creates a perfect ambience whenever I want to focus and also when I just want to listen to some chill music to relax. 
Alright, that's pretty much the final look of my home office setup. I was very impressed to be honest because I never expect myself to do so well. Um, so I guess kudos to myself. And if you're interested in any of the products showcased in this video, feel free to check out the video description because I try my best to link every product down below. Um, and if you enjoyed this video, please remember to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already. And oh yeah, don't forget to join the giveaway program because who knows if you'll be the lucky one, right? Um, and that's pretty much it at the end of today's video. I hope you guys enjoy it and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!